Howdy Team JBSA, I'm Brigadier General Russ Dirk Driggers, Commander of Joint Base San Antonio and the Follow Second Air Base Wing. At JBSA Lackland, Randolph, Fort Sam Houston, and our other installations, there's often construction underway. So for this month's Ask Away JBSA, I'd like to provide an update on some of the key projects our civil engineers have in progress to help support our great installation. Our journey begins with a bird's eye view of Fort Sam, where we will pinpoint the major road construction areas. First up, in Fort Sam, we have the Dickman Road Repair Project. This project involves patching repairs and a mill and overlay. Construction is set to start December 11, 2023. Moving on to the wilson winfield scott intersection. Here, the crew is performing full depth repairs and restriping the road to create new dedicated turn lanes, along with new signal lights and improved traffic flow. The work will take place from August 14, 2023 to January 5, 2024. And just nearby, we have the Wilson Way Repair Project. This project includes full depth repairs extending from the Walters Winfield Scott intersection to Garden Avenue. Work will commence in early January 2024 after the holiday season. Now, let's shift our focus to JBSA Randolph. Here, you'll find the I Street West project. Crews are performing full depth street repairs from February 7th, 2023 to September 30th, 2023. That concludes our tour of the ongoing road construction projects within JBSA. Please note that there are also future planned projects on Lakeland and Fort Sam Houston. I want to thank our civil engineers for the effort they put into these projects. As everyone knows, there's a lot that needs to be done across JBSA. And please know that my team strives every day to get this work done right and get it done the first time. You know, sometimes it could be as simple as putting asphalt over the top of a road, but a lot of other times they really got to dig down into the soil to make sure the project is done right the first time. I'm proud of the work that the team does. Their efforts directly impact the lives of folks across JBSA, and it's a responsibility they don't take lightly. I also want to thank all the other units who support these projects through various traffic safety plans, communication efforts, and leadership coordination. I know sometimes these projects can cause temporary inconveniences, and I know that can be frustrating. I drive the installation too. Please know that our civil engineering teams do work diligently to mitigate those disruptions. We ask for your flexibility as these upgrades will lead to long-term improvements. Unfortunately, they can't all happen at the same time either. And so just like many of the missions across all of JBSA, we too have to prioritize. And that's not just the resource of money. We have to prioritize amongst our limited manpower and time. And the team is getting after making those resource and prioritization decisions the best that they can. Also, as you navigate these construction areas, please be safe. Follow all signage, directions, and please watch your speed. I also want to communicate that my team and I are consistently on the hunt for ways to improve quality of life here at JBSA, whether it's in our facilities, our safety, security, and installation access, or the many programs that we offer to all the folks here across JBSA. My promise and my team's promise is that we'll continue to look for innovative and responsive ways to continue to make JBSA the number one place to work, train, and live.